All right, so how's it going, everybody? As always, I hope you've been doing well. Today's May 5th. Pretty sure I can get this video out in time for that. And if you've been around, you probably know May 5th is uh, my birthday. So can't believe I'm gonna be 33 this year. Don't know how that's happening. I also should have had a party hat. Completely forgot about that. Maybe I can edit that in. I think I know how to do that. We'll see. But figured for my birthday, why not just open up all the TTMs we have left? So we got we got seven we're going to open up. I do have two more from yesterday, so I'll keep those. Because like I said, I always like keeping a couple. So if I need to make a video, I can. Yeah, hopefully some cool stuff here that we've been saving. This should catch us up actually with uh, all the TTMs we've got back. So we'll open up seven TTMs and hopefully some good stuff from our TTMs. As always, let me know what you've been getting. You've been getting anything back, any TTMs, you've been buying any cards, cool stuff. What do you collect? I like hearing and seeing what people collect. I find that really interesting, even if it isn't sports cards or cards or anything, you know? There's tons of cool things people collect. I think that's always really fun seeing that. I don't know what's going on today, birthday. Is anyone older now, kind of like me? That kind of just doesn't care about like birthdays anymore? I don't know, it's got, it kind of sucks because it's like, you know, back in the day, birthdays were always like a big thing, but now it's just like, okay, <laughs> I guess it's been a year kind of thing, which is kind of crazy that we're already in May. Uh, I feel like yesterday was New Year's kind of thing. I don't know. Also noticing that time is flying the older you get. It's kind of crazy to think about, but yeah, I don't know. Just gonna hang out with dogs, my mom. I think we might go over to like the pool clubhouse thing, have a couple drinks or something like that. Cause it's also Cinco de Mayo today, which is always, Terrible. I don't know if I, I have one friend who also has a birthday on May. Actually, I have two friends that are May fifth peoples. You have a birthday on May fifth. It's kind of it's probably like a Saint. Pa I feel like a Saint Patrick's Day kind of thing. Also, save people like any like holiday. I guess we're drinking is like a thing because Cinco de Mayo. Everyone always wants tequila. So yeah, kind of get always roped into that. But I don't think that's gonna happen this year. So yeah, if you're doing anything for today, hopefully we have a fun, safe day. I know there's usually some partying and stuff going on, and also we'll have some cards. Hang out with you. I'm spending part of my birthday with you watching this right now. So, you know, thanks for coming to my birthday party, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got. Hope but yeah, let's see what we got. Hopefully we got some cool stuff here. All right, so like we said, uh, hopefully I counted correctly. We should have seven, <laughs> but yeah, the first two are from Miami. So this could be hopefully cool if it was in focus. Okay, it's in focus now. So this could be cool. I mean, regardless, they're gonna be cool. Could we have finally got some Marlins players? I don't know. But, yeah, I think, actually, I think I know what the long envelope's from. So I see Houston, Texas, and like I said, I don't send out. That's going to be a 4x6 or something like that, because that's the only time I use those envelopes, so. Yeah, out of focus, Miami once again. Okay, Front postmarked out of April 4th. This feels like a few things in there, so. At least two cards, I think. I mean, somehow beat up, but. Yeah, hopefully everyone's doing all right and everything. Just gonna have a hangout birthday kind of kind of deal, you know. But let's see, do you feel three cards in that? Wait a minute, what's the yellow? <gasps> Is that a Pokemon? Wait, could this be? Oh, I think I know. Okay, you can kind of see there's like a... It's a chrome card. You can kind of see... The, yeah. Oh, Paige. Nice. Paige Van Zandt. So, that. <laughs> awesome. I think I sent this out like a couple of months ago. I've actually had these cards for a while. But I just recently saw... Uh, I think, well, first of all, thank you, Paige. This came out really cool. Uh, these are really hard cards to sign. I feel like I should have sent... Uh, a silver gold sharpie kind of thing. You gotta see right there. I think she wrote heart PJ and then PJ Van Zandt. So that's pretty cool. I think I saw on like Facebook, she put up a fan mail address kind of thing. But I think I sent a refractor, which I think those usually help. Yeah, okay, that one came out awesome. Should've got a refractor. Usually the refractor cards uh, kind of help out the background better because it's usually lighter. You mean you can see? I mean, like, I was like, I think in that previous video, I was talking about backgrounds of cards. Uh, like UFC, it's usually a black fence, and the crowd's usually dark. So, kind of hard backgrounds. But, yeah, like, like, see on the refractor one, the background's almost silver. So, that's pretty cool. That came out really nice. 
and the Pokemon card? <laughs> yeah, awesome. I think I saw someone, I forget, uh, where what? Well, first of all, thank you, Paige. These came out really cool. I think I saw someone on, oh, if you follow, like, Pokemon, there's a Elite Forum, I think it's called. Is it Elite Four Forum or Elite Forum? Something like that. But I think I saw someone got, uh, I feel like it was, like, Manny Pacquiao or... And, or, and, it's like Conor McGregor or Ronda Rousey or something on, like, it, if you don't follow Pokemon, this is an energy card and it's the fighting energy. And I thought that was, like, the coolest idea. <laughs> like, the funniest idea to get something signed on, like, a, it was, like, a fighter, boxer kind of thing. So, we did it. So, that came out really cool. This is one of the newer ones. I should have got one. I couldn't find my older, like, base set uh, cards, I think, when I sent this out. Or at least the energy. I know where it because I think the base set energy looks a lot better than, like, this newer energy. But, you know what? Whatever. I don't care. It came out cool. I like it. And then the refractor card came out really nice. And so is this other one, but it's hard to tell. It looks better in real life kind of thing. But that's pretty cool. Thank you, Paige. That's awesome. Also bought her book. And I have a book cover. I kind of I didn't want to send that, but maybe I should send it. That'd be kind of cool. Cause I'm pretty sure she doesn't UFC fight anymore. I think I saw, I think I saw she's trying to get into like wrestling kind of thing, like WWE or whatever one of the other things. So that could be kind of cool. I don't know. I think she's hilarious on a. If you follow her on Instagram, like her and her husband, they post some funny stuff. They're hilarious. So that's awesome. Cool. Thank you, Paige. This came out really good. Okay, so another Miami, April fifth. That one the fourth, I think. So. Cool. That's what, there's three cards. That's that's like a maximum. We don't often send three. Uh, usually we're, we like the two. Oh, there's... What's going on? There's an envelope. Or there's... What is this? What's going on here? Oh. Uh, what's that? Oh, he signed... Oh, well, oh. Is it Camila? Oh, first card oh that's like a oh i kind of smeared on that yo that came out awesome camillo is that how you say it camillo pasquale yo that card came out awesome this is thank you mr pasquale hope i'm saying your name correctly that came out so that's what i'm talking about when i like these like i guess this would be a vintage card because and this isn't this like the 50s or 60s tops or something like that? You see here on the like, the autograph kind of, but it didn't smear. This is amazing. I think, yeah, I think I just put that, that's kind of just like a thicker. Yo, that came out nice. But when I'm talking about autograph, sports card, or like baseball, that's what I think about. Like that. Once again, I still hate this facsimile autograph on these cards, but yo, that came out so nice. That's awesome. And then he signed the back of... Uh, my my index card. Best of luck. <laughs> Best of luck, Peters. But yo, that card came out. I'd say perfect. <laughs> to me, that's perfect. Well, if it was in focus, there. Okay. Now it's perfect. That came out really good. Next one out of is it Provo? Oh, that's, why is the my camera's not happy today? Provo, Utah. I think. I don't know. UT is Utah, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pro okay, I should I probably shouldn't show the, the person. Well, I know who it is because it says uh, Vernon Law on the back, but I don't know if I should show because I'm guessing that's like a private address thing. So we'll open it up in front. But I mean, it's on the autograph website, but I just don't like showing addresses of people. I think this required a donation. I think it was like it was either five or ten dollars. No, I have to look it up. I think he, I saw other people say he, like, writes notes back, kind of thing. Right, the card's here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we got Vern Law. Did I say Vernon Law? Is that, like, would that be his, like, full name? But, thank you, Mr. Law. This came out <laughs> amazing. So, Vern Law, Cy Young, and World Series champs, two-time All-Star. I think that says 1946. 
Comeback Player of the Year, Lou Gehrig Award, 1965. Now that is an inscription. <laughs> kind of thing. What? Oh, cool. He wrote it here. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to keep that along with it. Yo, now that's an autograph right there. Thank you, Mr. Law. This came out amazing. But, yeah, if I include a... If it's one of a player that can, includes a donation, I always ask if you can inscribe it or whatever kind of thing, you know, because it's like, well, I'm paying money, so give me the inscription. <laughs> but, now that's one. I believe he's a lot older per player person, so... That's cool, he's still taking the time to do that. Look at that, Vern Law. Pittsburgh Pirates, 1950 to 1967. Cy Young World Series champs, New York Yankees, 1960, comeback player of the year. Lou Gehrig, 1965, two times All-Star. That's cool. <laughs> that's great. That's like baseball history right there. That's awesome. Yo, we're getting, we're getting some cool stuff back. Maybe it's the birthday luck coming out. Yo, that's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Law. And Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Feels like one card. It feels kind of bendy, so I'm guessing older card. That's how <laughs> I think. Well, I mean, uh, like Series 1 and stuff, like that, those kind of cards are kind of bendy. Or I guess the paper cards kind of... All right, that's that's an older card. It's backwards. Uh, oh, it's smeared. Carl Mathias. Aw. Really, like, it almost like smeared all the way off. Well, thank you for trying, Mr. Matthias. I appreciate it. Unfortunate. That's a bummer. But, yes, thank you, Mr. Matthias. And we got, this should be four by sixes from North Houston, Texas. And I have a, I'm going to say this is a NASA guy. That I think I saw someone get back on the website. And I thought it kind of looked cool. Have we got anyone back from NASA? I kind of want to do that. There are, like, some, like, military people I kind of want to start sending to because I think that's pretty cool. That's, like, literally, well, if you're from here, that's our history. And then, uh, like, NASA stuff I think is pretty interesting. Uh, yep, <laughs> I saw it. So, whew, I cannot remember his name. I kind of, I think his last name is Love. That came out really cool. That came out perfect. It's PJ Peters, best wishes, STS-122. So I think I, if I do, I can't remember his name, but I remember uh, when I looked it up, I think in 2007, it was either 2007 or 2008, he was on the space shuttle. And I would have, what would I have been? Like 16 or 17 or something like that. So I probably watched this guy. It's just like a crazy thing, isn't it? Like, how is it not crazy? Like, they're just sitting in this thing and they go to space. A giant piece of metal goes really fast in a space. He's sitting in there. So, I don't know. I always thought that was, like, super cool. And living here in Florida, we could always... So, I probably watched it. Awesome. I thought that was a cool picture. Oh, it's Atlantis. Okay. It's the Atlantis shuttle. So, that's pretty cool. That came out really cool. This came out really cool. I, I kind of want to start sending out some pictures or whatever to astronauts or nasa related kind of thing space maybe we can get elon has anyone ever got elon to sign I'll try to get that space stuff super interesting hopefully uh they get that stuff figured out and we can get start doing ttm openings from mars or at least the moon pretty soon so that'd be pretty cool but this one's like super blurry i think it says medford oregon I think it's kind of like not the best posted stamp. But let's see. It's also someone took a bite out of it right there. It kind of looks. I think in one card. Oh, there's my index card. There's card. Oh, backwards. This is an older card? Oh! This is one that, well, you can see the names right there. Cool, he signed it. So I forget. I either saw this on the website or in someone's TTM video. That, uh, thank you, Mr. Miller. This came out really nice. And I believe, well, well, clearly he signs. And I think Doug Rader is supposed to be a very solid returner, signer kind of thing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I guess returner would be in football, but 
he sides cards and sends them back kind of thing like that you know consistently so i thought that would be kind of cool let's i'm gonna try and send it to doug raider so we could i think this would be the first time we've ever got would well if we get that back it would be the first time we ever got uh like multiple autographs on a card so i thought that would be kind of cool give it a try i should have got two just so we'd always have one of norm miller but you know we'll try it there's like i said like i keep seeing people get consistent returns from them so so naturally we we probably won't that's usually how that rolls <laughs> kind of thing so. okay last envelope this feels like two from seattle washington so this feels like two in here i think so from seattle hopefully something cool we've been getting some cool stuff even that call matthias card even though it got super smeared i think it's still cool no return senders except watch this these are just be blank cards and the last one oh there's three no there's two Ooh. uh i see rangers these are newer cards what's that card who did i send the rangers Ooh. oh one fell out well he signed that one nick solak awesome we got so this is like Unless there's some, like, crazy cool card I feel kind of bad. We sent to him, I think, like, three times already. He signed that. We got the rookie card signed. Cool. Uh, that's, like, mainly what I wanted was to get a... I don't think we ever got... Did we get a rookie card? Thank you, Nick Solak. These came out amazing. He's always a very good signer. Like, he's been on... So, does it have it? Yeah, I think this would be our first... Is that... What is it, 21? Yeah. That's 20, then. Yeah, 20 is his rookie. And 21 heritage and then this is 22 series one so that's pretty cool that i think this is our first 22 series one card very appreciative of nick solak taking the time but i don't think we're going to send any more cards because i feel kind of bad about doing it but like i said at least one of a rookie card i mean i can't remember if we got did we, didn't we send him a bowman rookie before i don't know making sure at least i thought because we have i think we got his first bowman signed and now we got for sure a rookie card so i always think that's cool having their first bowman and then their rookie card sign so yeah this is awesome what a birthday all right so it appears for nick solak we sent out to spring training wasn't the envelope from seattle tell me he's on the mariners now well, we sent to rangers spring training on march 12th of this year so this would be like around 53 days. And I'm the only one that tried this address, but I saw her, she posted it on her Facebook page and like a video thing that saying, if you want, you have fan mail, send it here. But I think there's like a couple of different addresses people are getting stuff back from her, but I used what I saw on her Facebook page. Yeah, we sent this out on March 3rd, May 5th today. So 62 days kind of thing like that. But these came out really cool. And then for Norm Miller, we sent out April 1st, so 34 days, today's May 5th, so that came out really cool, and then we are also going to try and send this out to Doug Raider, so thank you Norm Miller, this came out very nice, Let's see if we can get our first two autograph card, that should be kind of cool, so I didn't realize this is the one, but this Carl Mathias, I don't think I'm actually going to send it back, because this is actually the second time we sent to him, uh, I'm remembering it now, because I wrote down on a thing that, I think he was the one I got back and the envelope i know he's an older guy that i don't think the envelope was sealed and he also didn't sign the card i think this was the one and now he signed it but it got i mean not his fault at all that's uh i i guess i probably should start, like i said i think i'm gonna start baby powdering all the cards i send out no matter the year older or whatever just i'm just gonna do it kind of thing because that probably would have helped it a little bit i'm sure it still would have got smeared but uh he tried we tried so that, I probably won't send that back. So thank you, Carl Matthias. That's cool. Then Vern Law, which we sent ten dollars with it. Pretty. That's probably the best inscription we've got. <laughs> I got. Yeah, we haven't got very many inscriptions, so that's pretty cool. And you, you like. Uh, I like that a lot. And he also signed, like I said before, he signed the cardboard card kind of thing. So pretty cool. He made the ten dollars worth it <laughs> you know like most guys just sign an autograph and you know kind of thing and and then also this one came out also it was ten dollars for hopefully i'm saying it camillo pasquale I'm saying that correctly that to me that's worth ten dollars <laughs> that's a cool one 
That came out really nice. I, I, once again, I forget. I didn't look it up. I should have looked it up. Whatever year. But, yeah. But whatever year it is, we have several. So, I like trying to get these signed. At least I want to get a nine pocket page full of whatever year tops this is. Or I think it's like this year top, this year's tops and the year either bef or before or after it. They're like very similar designs and I really like them. Even, disp even with the facsimile autograph things, which I hate, but... I love the card design for the couple of years of tops. So we're gonna we're getting a few of these signed, so that's pretty cool. And then it was Stanley was his first name, Stanley Love. I think he's Doctor, so I think it would be Doctor Stanley Love, I believe. So that's pretty cool. That's I think this is our first space NASA return thing. I think there was one guy we sent to, but I think he passed away. I think and I got a return to sender on it. I think it was an Apollo per person, something like that. But that's pretty cool. Thank you. I guess Dr. Love, I guess it would be. I think. If I'm remembering correctly. These came out really awesome. And I did want to try and... Anyone got any recommendations on some, like, space NASA kind of thing? I kind of want to try and get some signed. Yeah, these were amazing TTMs that we got back. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad we opened those.